This is a key stage 3 light video looking at structure of the eye. If we start on the outside of the eye here, we have the cornea, okay? And this is the bit that you might have adjusted if you have laser eye surgery, just changing the shape of the cornea to adjust how the light refracts into the eye. So we've got a refraction of light in the cornea here. We've got light going through the pupil, which is the hole uh, in the center of the iris there and the iris has muscles that can change the size of the pupil so when it's very bright light um, the pupil is smaller to reduce the amount of light going into the eye and when it's um, darker the pupil opens up wider it dilates to make um, allow more light to go through okay so the iris enables that to happen the lens is just here and the shape of the lens can change to focus on objects that are near or far away so we talk more about that in um, key stage four when we look at the eye again there and then um, the image forms on the retina at the back of the eye and the signal, the information that is collected here is converted into an electrical signal and it travels along the optic nerve to the brain to be understood. Okay, we actually see the image of um, what we're looking at is, is um, upside down on the retina and then our brain um, turns it round and, and formats it in a way that makes it easier for us to understand. So let's just have a look then at the summary of the structure of the eye. This is for key stage three. So we've got the cornea, which is the transparent outer layer where light refracts into the eye. That's the bit that you might have a um, contact lens uh, sat on if you are correcting your vision that way. We've got the pupil, which is the hole that the light enters through and that can um, get smaller or larger depending on um, how much light there is present. We've got the lens which is able to um, change its thickness depending on if you're focusing on an object that's close or far away. The iris which controls the um, size of the pupil, the amount of light that goes in. The image forms on the retina at the back of the eye and then that image is converted into an impulse which goes to the brain. So what we're looking at here is how we correct short-sightedness. So as you can see from this top line of pictures, um, we use a concave lens to extend the focal length, okay? This is the focal length that we need that point to land on the retina. And at the moment, in someone who's short-sighted, that doesn't happen. So what we do is we bring in the concave lens and it extends the focal length, okay? Because it refracts the light outwards, kind of up and then down here. So it spreads the light so that then by the time it hits the lens, um, it's got further to come to extend that focal length, okay? So what I've done so far is I've used my concave lens, I've drawn around it and I've decided where I want my ray of light to go into that uh, concave lens, okay? So I just need to be really, really careful to line everything up as carefully as possible. I actually think it might go that way around. That's better. And I'm going to put my ray of light, first of all, just on the middle line that I've drawn. And I'm going to do what I've done in previous videos, where I do a line where it's coming out and across through the beam of light. Then I'm going to move it up to another ray. i just move that again to make that beam as narrow as possible. So there, I move it up to there. It's coming out of the block there and across there. Move it up again. Coming out of the block there. Beam of light there. Up to the top. And again. Two left to go. Let's move the lens away and we take our ruler this time to join all of those rays of light, refracted rays. That 
one should go straight through because it entered the block at a 90 degree angle so that one should not bend at all. Last one. And because beams of light are continuous through the block they also travel. We see it when we put the block in place and then put our slip back in our ray, uh, ray box so we can actually see the beam of light going through the block so I move it there the beam of light is going through there okay so let's have a look at that back in position remove the block let's get some light on it and let's continue those rays of light through the block so we've actually got refraction at this boundary when the light enters the block and refraction again at this boundary where the light leaves the block Right through on that middle one. And then to show the direction of light, need some arrows to show coming in from the left out towards the right. Okay, so that is what's happening in our concave lens, biconcave lens. And um, if we look back at this picture again, over a bit. Okay, we've got short sightedness. This focal length is too short. We need this point here, all of the beams of light to converge at the same point on the retina. Here we've put the concave lens in place. It's refracted the light to spread it outwards, which means that the it's it's almost like it's got further distance to then refract back in again so that that focal point lands on the retina at the back. Okay, Okay. we're now looking at correcting long-sighted vision. So this is where, as you can see from this picture here, that focal length is almost too long. It goes beyond the um, shape of the eyeball. And we need to bring that focal length back so that it, the focal point hits that retina. Okay, so this is someone who is long-sighted. Think of it as they have a long focal length. And it's corrected with a convex lens. Okay, so what I've done here, you can see I've drawn around my convex lens. I've drawn three rays of light going into the convex lens with my arrows to show the direction of the light. I'm going to put my slit in there to create a single ray of light and put my convex lens in position. And then I'm going to have my beam of light going into the block, into that lens just here. And I'll put two crosses here as expected goes straight through the lens and then here two crosses okay and then when I take that all apart I can just about remember that that one goes straight through and then I can show that goes straight through there this one was joining those two points and then it crosses inside the block there and then I had these two points and that crossed inside the block there so we've got refraction at both boundaries okay this boundary and this boundary okay and you can see they all converge at this point here this is the focal point okay and the focal distance is across here okay so we'll see that in the flashcard shortly. Had a focal length that was too long. So in order to try and shorten that focal length, we've almost shortened it using this converging lens um, to converge the beams of light so that then they converge um, less when um, we've got the lens in front and that image can form on the retina there. Hope you found that useful, thank you.